I'm Dennis Burke, I'm Assistant Principal, Athletic and Activities Director here at Wilsonville High School. Welcome to our school. Thank you for coming out, taking the time to honor, recognize Sydney for what she's achieved and accomplished so far. It's great that you guys could be here and we can make this happen. Sydney's one of the handful that has been here today that deserves it. I could just share from my perspective with watching her over the years, whether it's coming in with dad, trying to find a way to get into a gym, getting the 10,000 shots in, or from there, Knowing that we have a handful of coaches on our staff that kept wishing or hoping that Sydney might try this sport, and then maybe try this sport, and then maybe try that sport. <laughs> and then it wasn't just about athleticism, it's about what she offered to people, how she was aware of her leadership skills that you saw on the court, out on the field, or in the class the hallway, you know, genuine person. So those are the two athletes we just enjoy watching play and enjoy the successes they have and the opportunity to take the next step. And even there's a few ADs in our league, they're always asking how the redhead players do it because they just like watching the play, the style, <laughs> and their respect for opponents. So just genuine care. So I do thank you for that as a representative of Wilson High School. Um, gosh, like, uh, such a great day to be here and address you rather than the camera so much, but uh, just to say that i um, very proud of you, know the work that you put in on the court, off the court, between games, um, but I think everybody knows what a great basketball player you are, but evident just what a great person you are. And I think that we've had a lot of great memories on the court, um, but this is by far my favorite because I think it's just culmination of everything that you've worked for. Couldn't be prouder, and thanks for allowing me to be here with you. So, thank, thank you. you. I'm Steve Schramm. I coach Sydney. Uh, actually, I remember meeting uh, Ben and Sydney in fourth grade when they basically moved from David Douglas. So thank you, Mr. Douglas. And uh, it was kind of nice, uh, you know, coaching in fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. You know, one of the big things was uh, fourth grade coaches in the other, you know, in the West, West Lynn League would call her the Magic Johnson of youth basketball. And that's really what she was. She would make everybody better. She would throw half court passes in fourth and fifth grade. And if our kids didn't catch it, we kind of looked, looked at each other and said, should we tell her to stop? And we said, no way. The kids will just get better. They'll, they'll learn to catch those passes. And so eventually they did. And every year, uh, it was a big challenge for us uh, to, to not, not just play in our league, but we were so good we had to play other kids and older kids. And we did that in fourth grade. We did that in seventh grade. I mean, it was such an honor coaching you and a pleasure. So I appreciate everything you've done. And congratulations. Good luck. Thank you. All right. I've watched Sid for quite a few years, and it's been uh, quite the journey uh, for her and for uh, our club and for Angie's club. Uh, I think wherever uh, Sydney's been, uh, it's been a plus. She is an unbelievable athlete, and when I look at the following that you have here with this virus thing that we got going on, uh, but it does take a village to raise a child. And uh, I'm looking at all these people and the love they have for her, uh, it is amazing. I've always been a, impressed with her motor. Her motor never stopped. Sometimes I wish it would stop. In fact, we talked a little bit about that last night in one of our sessions. And But, you know, that's the beauty of what Sydney brings to the floor. She makes everybody better. That's what a good point guard does. They take the pressure off themselves, or the spotlight off themselves, but they make everybody else on the floor better. And if you're not ready for the basketball, she's going to give it to you, and it might hit you in the face. She's that good. And I think that's what Davis saw in her. I've known Jen Gross, uh, the head coach of Davis, for 25 years. Jen saw her play last year. She saw film. She said, Lav, i got to have this kid. She's got all the qualities that we really want at Cal Davis. Great academic institution. Great basketball program. I'm really big how important academics is for kids in choosing schools. You choose school for the academic, not the basketball. But she is so blessed to be able to get both. And she's going to come out of this a winner. And so will Davis. They're so excited to get her and get her going and get her uh, energy uh, in the Davis program. If you haven't been an Aggie fan, you, you will be after you go down and watch a game. It is quite the atmosphere. They have a unique uh, student section and they have a unique band. This is a total package. So I can't be more overjoyed for Sid. 
and uh, you've been a blessing to Oregon Elite. I want to tell you, love having you with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Sid, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, so you guys all obviously are, you know Sid, and, and her basketball accomplishments speak for themselves, obviously. Um, but I think I think the reason we're all here and we're super excited for her is is because of who she is as a person. And Ben and Janet, you guys should be so proud. Seriously, you, you raised somebody who's just a light to everybody that she's crossed paths with, everybody that she's around. I mean, your positivity, who you are as a teammate, and your energy just lightens up any any environment you're in. So I think that's that's what makes Sid special. And also just, just your willingness to do the right thing, no matter what. And I think that's that's what's always separated you. So your character is gonna continue to separate you wherever you go. And we're just super excited to be here to celebrate you today. Well, I'll try to be loud and compete with the rain, which is pretty hard to do, but uh... First of all, Janet, I want to thank everybody in this room because everyone we look at knows Sid and loves her and cares about her. Uh, like Steve said, I remember when we moved down from David Douglas and had the tryouts and I'm watching Steve watch Sydney and I'm like going, oh no, are we in trouble or something? And to think that this guy that I could tell, he knew what he was doing because I know I didn't. I coached her for a couple years on three on three basketball and that was my limit. And so when I saw Steve and talked with him, it was just amazing for us to know that she's going to get to hang out with a guy who knows what he's doing. And then Kate joined the program, and she also knows what she's doing because she played basketball in college. And here we are feeling doubly blessed to have two adults that know what they're doing, and they're really good coaches. They're not uh, so tough that they hate the kids or work the kids or the kids feel so frustrated. They know how to encourage kids, and we just felt so blessed to know that our Sid's in some great hands. And then we move into this other program where we eventually meet Angie, one person who can't be here today, Lori Vizzini. Um, she was the our step into a private thing and that was really scary for us because we've talked to parents that said when it comes to private sports run like crazy because it's time it's cost it's all kinds of stuff and so as we stepped into this we felt so confident meeting Lori and then meeting Angie and just the care that they both had for Sid to helping her develop and then as we went along Sid gets to high school and we meet coach Duke there's kind of a regime change here, and uh, I had a chance to be on the committee that listened to Coach Duke come and uh, interview for the job, and it was so cool to hear his vision and his passion for basketball and for students. And I remember being in that interview saying, my gosh, if we can get this guy, we'd be really, really lucky. And we got him, and Sid's been able to work under him for four straight years, and taking her to state twice, and uh, looking for a third time this year. <laughs> so, And then finally, we met Gary Lavender because it was time to just do some other things with basketball and through Gary's hard work, his reputation with uh, local sports and just what he's done uh, on the West Coast and nationally. We just felt, wow, Sid's going to really develop under this guy. And it's been amazing to see his heart and passion for kids that's gone on for, what, 40 years, Gary? Almost 40 years or, uh, yeah, 30, 40 years. So I'll have to say that Janet and I are so grateful to God that he has put so many wonderful people in the path of Sydney, who helped her, who encouraged her. The last thing I want to say is about this kid right here. I think I've rebounded close to 150,000 basketballs for this girl. And it's been amazing to me as her dad and someone who sees how hard she works to see how God has blessed her and her hard work to come to this moment. I'll just tell you one story. It was after a Tualatin tournament when we were at Tualatin High School, and Sid, I think, missed all of her free throws, and she was so angry that we came to the gym here. We spent a lot of time in this gym. We went to the Ox Gym, and she was going to make 10 baskets in a row. And if she didn't make 10 baskets or free throws, if she didn't make 10 free throws, she's going to run side to side twice and then go back to the free throws. It's come up 25 minutes that she's doing this. And I'm like, you know, honey, you can lower that to eight. You don't have to make ten in a row. And she gave me that S Sydney stare that's just like, be quiet. I'm working. Um, so uh, one of the dads from the team was on the other end of the court watching me. And he comes down. He says, why are you being so hard on her? I said, hey, man, this is not my idea. And Sydney worked so hard to finally make those ten in a row. And that's what she's done countless times. And I would call it, Sydney, you're right now in the middle of a Nike commercial. No one's watching. It's just you and the hoop. 
So we are so proud of you, my friend. We love you so much. We're so grateful that God's given you gifts, but you've taken those and worked really, really hard with them. And we're so excited of what's ahead of you. Love you, girl. I just want to say one really quick thing. I just, I truly, all of you all have been a part of this journey with her, showing up at games, encouraging her, asking her why she doesn't shoot more. All of these things have been important, a part of her journey. And we're just so grateful to be on it with you all. So thank yeah. you so, so much for being here and for coming. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who made it out here today um, and to Mr. Burke who made this possible for me and five other girls to sign today and within the uh, pan us having a pandemic just making it normal and so fun and meaningful here. Um, I want to say thank you to all the coaches in my life that you guys have taught me so much and supported me and encouraged me and not only have you t trained me and told me so much about the game of basketball, but you've given me so much joy when I've played it that I haven't been burnt out or ever tired or sick of basketball. And I've always wanted to come back to it. And you guys have just taught me so much to become a person that really just finds joy in the game. I really appreciate you guys for that. And uh, to my friends and my teammates, um, thank you guys for supporting me and encouraging me as well and just um, being there on Friday nights sometimes for the girls' basketball games and cheering me on. Um, I really en enjoy our friendships and just you guys always being there for me. And my parents, my dad, my professional rebounder who has rebounded a lot of shots for me. And uh, my mom who tried to rebound for me and broke her finger the first time she tried. <laughs> Had to set, sit the next one out. Um, thank you guys for driving me to everything and buying socks and shoes and hair ties and everything I ever needed. And supporting me and being great role models and influences for me throughout everything. Just a big thank you to everyone who made it out today. Congratulations. Thank Before you, Brian. On signing to UC Davis. Thank First, I want to ask you, moving away from Oregon and uh, sort of changing up the scenery, what kind of led you to do that? And uh, why did you find that home at UC Davis? Um, I think I've always really loved Wilsonville and really enjoyed my time here, but I think I've just had the natural sense to um, get out and see more places and just change up the scenery a little bit. And so Davis was as an academic place and as a school and as a place to play basketball at. It just checked all the boxes for me and it seemed like the best place for me to go these next four years. One thing you said to me that became very clear is there are a lot of things going on right now. It's a busy time. And so what does a day like today mean in terms of uh, sort of being in accruance of everything you've done over high school and everything you will do in the future? I think it's just really meaningful to be here with like all these people that have come to support me and that um, have spent so much time with me and really helped me grow um, and I'm just very thankful that we can be here and excited to get to Davis and get to work and meet new people and just get into a new scenery and everything. It's become very clear of you being the leader that you are um, and you. just the presence in the community that you are. How do you think that uh, that will translate to the next level? Um, I think I'm just going to have the same personality in any level I go to, but I think I'll just have to grow and change as a person and meet new people and be influenced and be excited and surprised and create new relationships and everything. And I think I'll grow as a person at Davis. That's one of the reasons why I chose it because I think it will make me a lot better person to go to school there and I think it's just going to be a really great next step for me. Thank you so much for your time and Thank you. congratulations. Thank you, Keep Brian. Thank yeah. you.